Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and how are you today? Oh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's a daily crumb to help you along your way. Hey, 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 hey. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever time of day this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Mishni Bay, Mishaki Clay, your friendly, free gifts, sweet grass, water, medicine woman. It's Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. Oh, it's beautiful divine being right here. And welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here, too. Oh, how gross it with you. Hey, hey, hey. It's a Wednesday. Within Wednesday. Uh, oh, many moons ago, we called the Wake and Bake Wednesdays, you know? Wake up and bake some cupcakes. Uh, okay, yeah, but no, not so much anymore. Uh uh. No, no, no. Alrighty, so here we go. A little better day. I woke up and it was a rainy day in the Peterborough. It was a rainy morning here in the Peterborough. It's not so rainy in the morning, but the sun's not coming out right now. Maybe a little bit. It was a little bit out earlier. Now it's gone behind the clouds, but it's still bright enough to, you know, don't be looking straight at it. Beautiful things. Yes, flowing in some more. But that's okay. Feel the good things coming, coming, coming. Had a chat with my children's father yesterday. I had to keep pulling myself back going, okay, not going to argue with you. This is what you need to do, what is best for our children. You start thinking of the children, not your own thing. This has nothing to do with you or me and blah, blah, blah. It has to do with our children. I also said I'll always love them. We'll never regret that. And it's the truth. I do. Because without him, I wouldn't have my beautiful children. Three of the four of them. Anyways, you know, I still love my firstborns. Dad, too. And I always will. Because they helped. They helped, participated, making my biggest dreams come true. To be a mom. That's always been my biggest dream. Be the best mom that I can be. You know what? And the best thing that we can give our children is happy, healthy parents, right? If not two, at least one will do. And we can't have any control over the other pair. All we can control is the one, right? The one that we're in. So be that good example, right? Because they learn best from our example. Whew. So be aware of the examples you're setting too, right? Right, right, okay. There you go. All right, let's just dive in here. So that went, okay. All right, day. I still... Still, you know, so when people are prideful, it becomes about them. So it's hard for them to say, okay, I made a mistake. And look at all this hurt, especially when you make a mistake that causes, like, devastation in other people's lives, you know? It's hard to, hard to own up to, but we must. We must do that. And then it's, no, 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 you know, we can go and seek out that forgiveness or whatever. Go try and make amends, but it's not up to that other person to... They're under no obligation to forgive you or anything like that. But then, you know, like, we all got to wrestle. Well, it begins within. Let's deal with that. Well, you know, we can only do so much. If you've done so much and you know you've been genuine and all of that, and the person still keeps choosing to hang on to, well, hey, sometimes we just, we got to let that go so we can grow. I don't know. What is that for you? To be a good parent, you need to take care of yourself so that you can have the physical and emotional energy to take care of your family. Michelle Obama. If you are a parent to a child or a pet, a caregiver of any kind, what are your favorite ways to take care of yourself? To give care to yourself. Okay, I'm going to say that again. The, the take care, take and give. Right? What is that? What is that? How does that sound to you? Caregiving or caretaking? Hmm. Oh, no. How's that sound for you? I don't know. Anyway, how can we ensure that you have time for this each day? So what are your favorite ways to give care to yourself? And how can you ensure that you have time for this each day? 
49, which would be a four. It's bringing in that balance, right? You have that balance, you know? All right, work, 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 and no play. It makes you funny, grumpy, funny, duddy all day. Oh, no, what's up for you? Oh, there we go. Totems out. Have to go with that, too. There we go. There's the sun coming out. Feel the sun shining on my face. Let the sun shine in. Face it with the grin. Smilers never lose. And frowners never win. <laughs> you know that? Who knows that? Okay, who knows that? <laughs> Yeah, we never do. Okay, here we grow. <laughs> Take that time, right? We need that rest. We need to have that. It's a sacred, right? Sacred grounds. We have to have that rest. We have to retreat. Especially when we keep going, we keep going. We're starting to feel resentful. We're starting to build up those uh, icky feelings, right? Then we're not adding that good energy in there. I don't know what is that for you, right? We want to come from that place and that sharing and that quickening of that excitement, that joy of something that's coming in. A slow and steady, right? Slow, a slow and steady, right? We're taking those actions, right? We have to retreat and balance that, right? Sharing and quickening, right? We have to retreat. We have to uh, be patient. Patience. I don't know. Hurry up and wait. I don't know what's up for you. What have you been loyal to? The fear? Oh, there's ego because we will serve what we fear and spirit is always there with us right spirits always got our back because what yeah that's all we give that most of the time let's turn around and open up and let that pour through us all right let's see what have you been loyal to let's be loyal to that love inside right fear is not a bad thing but we feel that fear and we do it anyway. Unless the fear is saying, don't jump off the sea tower, you know, don't go try and jump it from a plane, with a plane without a parachute. I don't know. Although I think there is a sport with that. I don't know. I saw something about that. Anyways, point being, right? What have you been serving? What have you been loyal to? And then has that been a benefit for all? Has that been a loving service? Is it an all loving that you're in service to because God doesn't want to make us slaves to be of service is different right to be of servitude is different than a slavitude is that a word I don't know <laughs> what's that for you why we get quiet we go into that stillness there we go we don't stone the people okay <laughs> done away with that all right and then we're looking at that that haunted messenger what is that life saying to us when those records are revealed we take, take that time to retreat we get quiet we listen to that still quiet voice inside we're looking to see what kind of actions we can take because we can look and see what our gifts and we can see where in the world those gifts are needed and we can offer our gifts and hey they might look the same as somebody else but they don't have all flavor right we can say things oh man i know when i was a kid hearing stuff now i get older and like okay Oh, yeah, I heard that all the time when I was a kid, but that didn't sink in. I wasn't open and ready to hear that. So maybe it's it needs to come at us in a different accent, in a different way. I don't know, for it to sit in for us. I don't know. How's that uh, work for you? Do you take that time to be quiet? Do you give that care to yourself? What is your favorite way to take care of yourself, to give care to yourself? And how do you make time for that every day? I don't know, but I'd love to hear it. What's that all say to you, beautiful beings? All right, biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you just to be you, fully holy and true. Don't let this world miss out and all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. To grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful, blessed day. Love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.